Hello and welcome to Ascended Stars. This is Ali Jade. It's May 22nd. I'm doing your reading on the new moon energies of Gemini. So this should be really interesting because we're really on that energy uh, fully right now. So this is going to be, you know, propelling you into that energy for the next two weeks for sure. Now I've already pulled the cards. I like to um, see what's going on with your person. I do the tarot for that. And then um, we're going to see how this person sees you and how they feel about you. But first, uh, please, if you are digging these beautiful pictures that uh, Wendy's Eclectic Life has um has made you know she's she does art therapy for herself but uh, she has snor snorkins disease and a lot of other health conditions so um she helps herself by doing this art therapy and i'm one of her biggest fans and what i do is i actually you know use it for my for tagging my videos so you can we are, we're going to put up a stock on etsy but um if you like certain colors, uh, she got into the, you know, I love this one because it's like puffy cotton balls or something. But she has gotten into like sunsets and things like that too, which are really nice to have watery images in your bathroom. You know, that's a good feng shui. <laughs> and to have like um, fire, you know, red images in the places that, it depends on, on, on the setup of your house. But uh Colors really can accentuate your mood and your senses. Anyway, you already know that, Scorpio. So uh, just see if, you, if you're interested or would like to donate. If you donate, we're going to send you a picture. Okay? Um, all the stuff is down below. All right, so let's get into your reading and see how this person sees you. But first, let's see what they're up to in their life right now. <laughs> this person succeeding this person recognizes and is succeeding oh my god this just happened with this just happened with libra they got the tower in the exact same place uh, mm. all right scorpio i'm definitely going to title this scorpio moon because I, I'm picking up a lot of this uh, energy from my Scorpio moons out there. So someone is recognizing. There you go. They recognize you. They recognize you. Your, your partner recognizes you. Okay. Sorry for the glare. I have to put it like super close for it to grasp uh, some kind of clarity there why is it even closer right I'm so sorry I don't know why there we go see told you um, okay so somebody is recognizing I believe they're recognizing you but um, this person might have had some self-esteem issues in the past Some information's coming down the pipeline. This is the Gemini New Moon, and some information here. It could be internet connection. It could be they contact you. It could be in the past. I'll tell you what I feel. In the past, you have contacted this person. Okay. Um, I don't know. I, I'm I'm feeling the internet messaging. One of the social media apps, and this person did not uh, receive you very well. They were not in that place to receive you. They didn't see you as a treasure. They didn't see you as somebody worth spending time, energy, effort into. But I do feel like they, they regret that very much. I do feel like um, something's happened and they're going through an energy where they are purging old thoughts. They're purging the way that they used to think. That means, um, you know, this is a great analogy because the Scorpio energy rules the anus, okay? And it's about releasing, letting things go, okay? Uh, so I feel like 
they ha- they were holding on to a whole bunch of shit. That's what I feel. And like they had, they had, they, they, and, and the thing is, is that, you know, your person might be very stubborn. All right. I just feel like your person is very stubborn like you. Okay. You're a very stubborn person too. <laughs> so you're fixed. So your person is, um, Either they've been rejected and they're going through a lot of pain or you rejected them and they're going through a lot of pain and healing from that. But I, I, my ultimate one is that you offered them an offer. They didn't want it. And now they're, they're thinking twice. They're th- the way of the, how they think, how they go about life. Well, thinking is so much to do with how you go about life. So they were, and I do get that they were stuck in another dimension. Like they were... You know, like there's some of us who are awakened and like we know, like we we know that this the shoe was going to drop at some point with COVID and all that. But this person has been in la la land and they just didn't see it. And so this stuff came crashing down and then they recognize, oh, damn, because you're more enlightened is like I feel like you're OK. So now that's what I see. But let's see how they see you. And but this is why we have extra cards down here because typically I don't get these extra cards. I only get four. <sighs> wow. They are motivated to give you a caring connection. Look how beautiful the sun is falling on this card. Wow. They are seeing things more pot. Okay, so they're going through a transitional time where they have to develop to see things more. They have to shift their energy to see things more passion and more more um positively <laughs> i'm trying to think passionately but more positively no and maybe they were more focused on passion than positive energy and yes and so wow they're harnessing their strength okay and you see how the sun was shining on that that last card it's more positively and more um they have to really push through this energy. It doesn't seem to be something natural for them. It seems to be a, a challenge. The way, the reason why we suffer, okay, according to Buddha, is when we get attached to something. And so they're attached to a certain type of relationship, a certain individual. Um, they're attached to something still in the past. This is why it didn't work out. And this is why they did, not this card, I'm sorry. This is why they didn't recognize you in the past. They were attached to something. This thing keeps falling. Keeps falling. Just wanted to stay. They were attached to something, okay? And they, um, well, they weren't in a position to see any other offers, really. Uh, it could be a way of that, like, to think of things. We have creative project. Hold on. Forgiveness. Ay, ay, ay. Magic, coincidence, synchronistic events. Okay. Okay. I got your I got your messages, Scorpio. There was a caring connection in the past that they're not able to let go of. And they're loyal to that energy, okay? They're lo- this person may not even be in their life. They're still loyal to it. They need to forgive themselves or this person before it can manifest with you and this new energy in Gemini is going to um, help uplift them be more courageous and positive and they um, They're ready to manifest. 
they're coming after this new moon energy is is creating an energy of, of completion they're releasing this energy ten of swords of uh, something very painful that they've had an issue letting go it has to do with um, forgiveness Okay, they have to learn to let go of some stuff that, that, that they've held on to that keeps them from growing. Um, and they've been loyal. They've been so loyal to this energy. This could be you or them, okay? But they've been so loyal to this old connection that um, they're not seeing it in the way that this is supposed to help them grow. So now they're ready to manifest, uh, uh, to get into manifesting something. But they're uh, still in a, in a place of pain, you know, they're still in a place of... So if you haven't heard from this person, that's why, okay, that, that that's a, a big... But again, now with this new energy uh, in Gemini, the new moon, it's, it's causing them to think out of the box and to move forward into what they want to do um, they're trying to figure it out still as they go along and i'm also getting an energy that this person might be younger than you so we're going to see more in detail how they see you this um this spread typically is how they see you but i feel like in this in this case for my uh scorpio collective it's more of how where they're it's more of a continuation of where they are at in them within themselves um i think they're beating themselves up for something uh i think that they're taking their loyalty as a weakness and not as a strength and um, i think they need to switch that around to you know get a different perspective on that type of uh, energy there okay so let's see here For some of you, I feel like this is an ex, and I feel like they're coming back. <sighs> wow. Oh, geez. I don't like that card. Okay, so um, they see you as someone who just is capable of you know very scorpionic here you just tell the damn truth and you can cut straight to the truth to scorpio you're like jugular you know mm. i'm getting the feeling you left this person okay out in the cold um my scorpio moons out there i really do feel like this is a scorpio moon and uh reading i feel like you left this person out in the cold really you cut them like smooth honey like you know like only a, a like only a surgeon only the scorpio knows how to cut like you're cut done you're done not even gonna give you a chance to to say nothing to me you are just cut and it kind of left this person um, there is a mystery about you okay that they are very much wanting to to speak their their own um, they want to speak their own truth they want to speak to you they want to communicate they want to commute they are open to communication, even though you were cut or they were cut, but I'm really getting that you cut them. And it kind of left them like, oh, like with words in their mouth. That's like, want they wanted to say stuff, but ah, it's gone. Like, okay, you didn't even, and that's, that's a very Libra and Scorpio trait. But, um, so you might have some Libra rising or some, a Libra sun. You might be dealing, so I don't know. Then you have the energy of this person. It's almost like what I'm getting is that this person's a control freak, okay? This person likes, they like to be in control. They like to have their world and be in control of their world. But you didn't allow that. You didn't play that out with them. You didn't, you didn't um, 
yeah you it just never got there it never got there because they don't see how smart you are and how and how you are capable of um you're a great manifester but you manifest differently than this person okay uh, you manifest from within and and when you manifest Scorpio it's really think desired like des the, the desires that you really want you're manifesting from a place of the desires that you truly truly want this person kind of has this um, energy where they want to take you to this place that you're very curious about but you're scared about at the same time and maybe this is why you cut them off maybe this is why you're like oh damn they're they're getting too close to who I really am and it just kind of spooked you I feel like you got spooked Scorpio I feel like you got spooked and this person knows you this person can clearly define you and tap into that dark um, mysterious and yet attractive part you know uh, like you know the fire is gonna burn you but you go towards the fire anyway you know the flames might burn you but they look so pretty you might you wanted to touch it and then but it freaks you out because you know you're gonna get burned so yeah This is why the energy of forgiveness is here. Okay, let's read into this um, psychic with a psychic deck. Let's get into the, the Ten of Swords and the Tower card. Okay, let me just give this a shuffle. Well, it would be nice to have them. I don't even, I do not have these all. Okay, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. All right. Two cards, please. Okay, Spirit, we want to know about the Ten of Swords. Give us... There we go. And we want to know about the Tower. We might want to know about the Four of Cups, but I might do Sibyllas on those. On that one. Okay, because I want to over, 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 over. Okay, the Wheel, the Wheel. So there has to be this catalytic energy that's going to come in and BAM! make them see oh very interesting so that the wheel is 10 which is <laughs> I gotta show you guys this is hilarious okay so the tower got the wheel which is you know a cycle ending quickly like it's coming it's coming it's coming for the end like it's coming for the closure okay but then the ten of swords got the tower energy destruction okay so I, don't, I just feel like this person really is 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 um, distraught over you Scorpio like I don't know Scorpio do you want this person to chase you are you are were you trying was that your intention because it's not coming across that way. This person, it feels very defeated. That This person feels defeated by you. They're not letting you know. They're not letting you know. And I think it's driving them crazy that they kind of knew you. They kind of, you gave them a little glimpse into like what the possibilities. And then you dropped it like a mic, man. You dropped that thing like a mic. That you're like, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, something something pulled back it could have been the retrograde energy where you're like I can't give into this compassion empathy grace I'm gonna pull the Sibyllis I didn't mean to pull this this discovery deck I meant to pull the Sibyllis but okay let's <laughs> I guess you needed to hear that so for the um, four of cups energy the offer that didn't that wasn't received um, I 
I feel like you, Scorpio, have a lot of compassion, empathy, grace, and they didn't appreciate it. Look at that. They are waiting. They're, they're, they're in, in a waiting place for you. They are wondering why they haven't heard from you or why they... This is, goes here. And it does look like waiting. They're thinking about how they rejected you, how they didn't take the offer when the offer was offered. <laughs> oh, God, and they're just not in a happy place. They're just thinking about that. They're just like, wow, I had a connection with this person and I didn't move forward and it was taken away and I value that. <gasps> Wow, and that's why they're going through this. They might contact you. You might get some, you might get a con, that, because, okay, let's, now we're gonna pull, this is very fascinating. I have to find out a little bit more. What's gonna happen now in the future with my Scorpio Collective? I gotta hurry up. I don't wanna make this over half hour, people. Do not wanna make this over half hour. Loyalty, man, they got loyalty. <laughs> Oh, and they still are so aroused by you. They are very enthralled by you. They like it. Oh, this is a past life connection. This is a past life connection. Okay. I definitely felt this energy, okay? Okay, and how do we heal this? What needs to what energy needs to come on to heal this? What's the energy that needs to come on board to heal this? I'll show you in a second. Hold on. What energy can we embrace as Scorpios? To heal this, to have this, uh huh, we have to get grounded. Okay, we have to get grounded. Sorry, I had to take a look at that. Wow, okay, so the clarifiers and the future cards, you know, with the Lenormand, this person's very distraught. They're going through it. They're seeing, they're, they're, there's something about you, Scorpio, that they're not getting from anybody else, and they really have to build their courage to connect with you, okay? Um, the wheel is turning so something they might be under the impression you're going to reject them but they do recognize that they have to connect with you they're there's they're working up their courage they're working up their courage to connect with you okay because they do feel this sense of um connection with you all right and then for the future they're still loyal they're still loyal they're recognizing that they rejected some you know, okay, let's go back a little. They, I think they recognize that they rejected an offer, okay? That was your offer, Scorpio. If this is not your reading, please move forward. That somehow they're waiting. They've been like, oh, I, I messed up, but hey, you know, they're going to come back to me. Your person is, they see you as a compassionate person with empathy and grace. And then they know that they need to have that energy too. And it's taking them a while to get to that. So they're waiting. They're thinking. They're waiting and they're thinking. But they, they're in, in a bad... They're they're not feeling great without you, Scorpio. And they some, something's been taken away from them. They value something that's been taken away from them. This offer. They value this offer that's now off the table. It's been taken away. They are loyal to having you connect with them they're kind of hope you know they're hoping that you connect with them they're hoping for this connection okay because if there's a lot of sexual angst mm. and that's an 11 baby that's an 11 the sun's shining on that and this connection is is gonna happen but i feel because of this retrograde energy it's gonna take you know 34 it could be seven weeks but it's coming it's a past life connection it's a past life connection okay there this there there you might have not really got into it because you saw something you got you got freaked out the retrograde energy came you had to pull back your energy pluto is in retrograde your main energy isn't you know who rules you is in retrograde so you're like well Something told you that you weren't going to be in your maximum power, that you weren't going to be, um, you know, you were your power. You need to have 
your ducks in a row you need you're a bit of a control freak you need to be able to control your emotions you know you need something pulled you back something turned you off and pulled you back and the energy to, to clear this is just you know stay grounded as an earth energy okay stay grounded stay connected to mother earth um, meditate and and believe and have faith okay that this person's working it out they're very stubborn this person's very stubborn okay um, you, it's almost like you know I, the less I do the more I get you just got to let them heal and 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 trust that this is going to be uh, working out and coming back to you I feel like this energy is going to come back because definitely this person wants to this with this right here they they will they will want to come back. They you okay in the next two weeks you might hear from this person or you might break down and contact this person. Let's say seven weeks. I don't want to say two two weeks. Okay, so let's see what's your advice, my loves. What's the advice for Scorpio? Very complicated. You guys are not easy. I don't even know how I got through this video. It's very very interesting energy. Okay, come on. Can we let's shuffle? You guys want to shuffle? Let's shuffle. What is the advice for my Scorpios moving forward on this new moon in Gemini about this connection? What is the advice? What's the best advice that we can give our Scorpios for this connection? Regarding this connection here that we just did. Believe in miracles, okay? This person has to build their spiritual muscle. You are the Scorpio moon, really, you know, or Scorpio. But I feel this is Scorpio moon. You guys know how to believe in the ethereal, in the spiritual. Um, you know that energy very well. And this person needs to build that muscle is really what I pick up. But also, don't give up on this person if you're the one watching. New love. New love. Okay, it came in upside down. So this person is, is still clearing out their energy to be able to accept new love. And it's almost like you intuitively picked up on this and knew it, okay? So just, just do that ethereal work. Pray for them. Keep them in your thoughts with a high vibration. Know that they're very stubborn. And, and let, let that, you know, take... They need to cut ties. They're very tied. They need to cut ties to the past. Um, and so that is a block to them you know that is a block and they need to forgive forgive something they're still in a place of, of um, so Archangel help, helps us cut ties and help us to for, for, forgive to open our heart for new relationships so yeah that's what we have my love so thank you so much I appreciate you um, please take the time to subscribe and see what the next episode of how they see you is going to come about in june um, i'm liking these readings they're short and sweet and to the point and i just made it under 30 minutes so go ahead and subscribe like and i look forward to connecting with you in the future do look at all the um transits that are happening in the show more box it really puts things into perspective if you're into astrology and and, and uh, want to know why the energy is so stagnant. Much love and light. Take care. Bye-bye.